So we are back with another mini computer. This one's kind of special from Geekcom, the Mini IT13. This is the first, from what I understand, 13th generation Intel Core i9 mini computer on the market. So they've just launched this and I'm pretty excited to take a look. They are celebrating their 20th anniversary. They sent me like this little celebration box. I'm not gonna focus heavily on this, but these guys are one of my uh, favorite mini computer companies out there. Uh, they've been a pleasure to work with, really awesome to make awesome computers, but they did send me this little pack. Kind of cool, we get a little uh, bird dude giggle, like a little Lego type thing. A uh, notebook that is made of aluminum and then like a little Rubik's cube. Hey, cool. So I appreciate that Geekcom, you guys are doing an awesome job out there. But let's get into this uh, mini PC, the Mini IT13. So they have a few of these, all 13th gen, but we're looking at the i9. We got a uh, two terabyte SSD, 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Let's open this thing up, get it set up, try some games on it real quick, just see what to do, but here we go. Nice little form factor. Not the smallest mini PC, but this is about average for a mini, I think. I love that they have an SD card slot on the side, very easy to add some storage, you know, run some uh, emulation builds off of. On the back, we got multiple HDMI ports, some US, I'm gonna put all the specs on the screen for what everything that is included here, but a couple uh, USB-C's on the side, you got your little lock thingy. On the front, a couple more USBs and a headphone jack. Does this open up from the top? I wonder. Uh, it, I think it does, but let me, let me try to pry it without a... Well, I just threw that. But let's see what else is in the box. Thank you. I do got to find that top uh, piece. Don't know where it went. Some uh, documentation. Power supply, HDMI cable, mounting bracket, manual. A beefy, beefy uh, power supply here. There you go. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing back together and uh, get it going, test some games. In my previous mini PC videos, I noticed a few people asking if I could do some benchmarking going forward with 3D Mark or other programs. So I bought 3D Mark and I ran the Night Raid benchmark for you know PCs that have integrated graphics. And this is the result, the Night Raid score. I'm at 17,224. I've ran it a few times, score varies occasionally, but that's what I've been getting. They state the average score for this uh, you know specific GPU and CPU has typically been around 19,480 with the best of around 23,000 for that score. I don't know what's causing a variance for me, but I'm gonna keep this documented. We'll use it to compare in the future, but let's check out some games real quick. So a little bit of the Forbidden Fruit Nintendo Switch being emulated on the Geekcom IT13. And besides a few minor things that I've noticed, uh, it seems to be running decently well not not too much to complain about so yeah if uh, you want a nice little mini pc that can run nintendo switch this uh, might be it for you but let's let's see let's get that t-rex there we go let's destroy some stuff i do notice some minor graphics glitches here and there but you know, all, these Switch emulators are actively in development, so things do get better over time. But this is a this is a good sign, in my opinion, for this PC if you want to run stuff like this. I'm just using that little uh, two terabyte Play Night drive, plug and play. Didn't make any tweaks to anything, so probably get some better performance on certain things by really dialing in some settings. Okay, so to touch on some PC gaming real quick, and then we'll jump back into some emulation, but I did play a few games. Some things ran better 
Then others, these are not like exactly gaming PCs. It's just like, hey, they are powerful enough to, you know, get some gaming out of them. But I tested things like Baldur's Gate 3, which struggled to, you know, sit at a solid 30 FPS. I was like way below that in the, the mid 20s, turning off all the features, putting the graphic settings all the way to low. The game just struggles a bit. Is it still playable in the right eyes? Maybe, maybe. And then things like uh, Resident Evil 4 was playing okay, fairly solid at 30 FPS, but I did have to tweak things down quite a bit. And then uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 seemed to play okay. It was doing all right. And then uh, Spider-Man on, on PC, Spider-Man Remastered, I did have to knock it down the low. It was starting to stutter quite a bit and have some uh, issues at medium to high. So I kind of went like, low medium settings with that. But yeah, you, you can get some decent PC gaming out of this, but higher end stuff, you're gonna be pushing it. You're gonna have to be making some tweaks. So to jump back into some emulation to round this out, just quick video here. I didn't test anything too you know, low on the totem pole of demanding systems. The lowest was uh, Nintendo Wii, and I didn't have any issues emulating Wii games on the system. Everything played great. Same thing with the Wii U. You know, playing some Mario Kart 8 action was pretty sweet and smooth. No problems there. Now, not everything. I can't guarantee everything's going to play fine, but all this stuff so far has been, you know, pretty decent. Nintendo Switch I already showed earlier, uh, but it's going to be a mixed bag, I think, because... You know, some games are just going to perform better than others. I was playing stuff like Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild, jumping back into it. And while the games play fine for the most part, I, I did notice a few issues here and there with graphics in some of these games. So maybe a mixed bag with those kind of things. Uh, Xbox 360, I jumped into a bit as well. Some games there, graphics glitches, some, you know, stuttering Stanley action type of thing. Having to go in there, tweak some settings to get better performance. Uh, some games did play really well, though. So, yeah, it's just really fine-tuning things here. PS3, I jumped into some Lollipop Chainsaw action, one of my favorite PS3 games. I'm really hoping they don't butcher the remake, but chances are they will. So, hey, at least we could still play the original. But, yeah, PS3 was performing very well. Same thing with PS2. So, overall, you know, this is a nice PC. Geekom does an excellent job. Uh, with these PCs they sell, I feel. But at the same time, you have to keep in mind, these are mini PCs. While they can be fairly powerful, they're not going to replace your desktop. You know, your gaming desktop anyway. I mean, you're going to get some gaming performance out of this thing, but it's not going to be fair to compare to a full-on, you know, gaming desktop computer. So it's up to you to decide if you're interested in something like this. I like this mini PC. I think Geekom does an excellent job. You know, happy birthday to them as well with their 20th anniversary, if that means anything. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Bye.